trauma survivors who do meet other trauma survivors who are on their wavelength, in part through common experience, but also through a common capacity to use words, to use thoughts effectively, to be descriptive, to confirm, uh, mainly to confirm forms of pain and, and forms of separation from family and friends. To do that is so wholesome. We need one another, and we don't have one another in many circumstances of victimization and traumatization. Uh, the last thing we want is to tell our story to someone who thinks they know our story without really knowing it, or to try to explain something that is terribly painful to a person whose response is, well, that wouldn't hurt me, or I would just get over it. Well, they haven't been there. And it's so alienating, and it compounds the injury to try to explain the injury to someone who is arrogant. And what I think you've achieved by by uh, forming and facilitating conversation among people who are sensitive, who have been injured, who have lost their voice, but who find it with one another, it, it is quite precious. It, it, it's the creation of a healing community. And, and we're, we're explicit in saying we need one another to heal effectively.